I'd like to welcome everyone to this webinar. Uh, we're very excited to have you all here today to talk about how um, a couple of our partners, Revamp and Tesco, have partnered together to provide a one-box solution for repair dealers. Um, so with that, I'd like to pass it over to Kelly Jardine from IQmetrics to go over a little bit of our solutions that we offer. Well, thanks, Madison, for the introduction and for letting me join. So this is a very exciting topic for me as I am the repair product manager here at IQmetrics and I'd love to talk about repair. But firstly, are you all aware of the other products beyond RQ you could be growing your business with? For example, are you tired of having dead stock and no longer wanting to risk having too many cases on the shelf that aren't selling fast enough? Or maybe you own a small repair shop and don't have much wall space. Have you considered our endless aisle or dropship? You don't have to worry about carrying too much inventory on hand, but also you don't have to worry about running out of stock. It's a win-win. In digital signage, did you ever have to honor a promo that was over a month ago because one store didn't take down that poster you sent an email about? Well, you can control your advertisements all from corporate. All stores change by literally a click of a button. And did you know we are a payment processor? No more calling our support team to be directed to someone else's support team to only be told to call us back. We are a one-stop shop here at IQ Metrics. We got your back. And I'm pretty sure we have some wicked rates, so let us know. And lastly, our sleek omni-channel e-commerce experience. Your customers don't want to leave the house today, but they really need that new accessory, so don't lose a sale. Let them buy it online from you. Let us help you stay one step ahead and trust us with new products coming. Everything can be found in one central place. Easy peasy. But back to repair. I know all of you out there listening are already using RQ today, but the reason you are invited today is because we have learned that either you are already in the repair market or at least looking into getting into the repair market, and we have exciting news to share with you. We have given our service request module a complete makeover, and if you aren't currently using it today, you're missing out big time. Our new module creates a seamless experience from intake to technician, back to customer for pickup, and all the detours along the way, such as special orders, deposits, out of stock, inventory found dead on arrival, customer activity tracking, bundles, packages, you name it. We have the customizable setup. You can set it up unique to your uh, store's flows. We capture signatures, so you cover your but when taking in customers' phones, we can actually schedule appointments as well. So we have also built an appointment booking flow that can be integrated right into your website and appear in our queue. No more keeping track of multiple systems, no more swivel chairs, no more missed appointments because, or not being prepared. They book online, it shows in our queue. And beyond the repair module, you have full use of RQ's inventory, the reporting and analytics, HR, CRM, the widget library, the POS, and marketing. Basically, everything RQ has today, and we believe with a combination of it all, you will have the tools and data you need to grow your business. But the real reason we are here today is to talk to you about our awesome VMI integration with Revamp. Let us together with Revamp, make your inventory management easier for you. Once you know what you want, need to order from Revamp, you go online to their portal. So number two. And then once you make your purchase online, you place your order, the purchase order will be auto-created for you in our queue. Now you just have to sit back, relax, and wait for it to arrive. No more duplicate entry. Short and sweet. So please reach out to your client manager if you are interested in our new repair module and the revamp integration, and let's get the repair side of things going for your business. And thanks again for letting me ramble on about my love affair for repair, and I'll pass it over to David and Ashley. Awesome. Thank you, Madison, for the intro, and thanks, Kelly, for running through the integration piece. Um, 
We're excited to be here today and introduce ourselves. Um, we've been working with RQ for a while now. Um, Revamp ourselves have been in the industry for 11 years now. Um, so we really understand this space. We were on the service side for a little bit and then um, pivoted into the distribution side. Um, I'm Ashley Honda, the director of sales. I've been in sales for about 10 years now, specifically into the wireless side for about five. So um, it's a good space and we look forward to introducing you guys to the program. Thanks, Ashley. Hi, everyone. My name is David Sharma. I'm one of the co-founders of Revamp Wholesale. As Ashley mentioned, we have been in business a little over 11 years, launched April of 2007, started our business in the service and refurbishment side. Um, as soon as the iPhone 3G started to take off and we started to see that people were repairing those and that it wasn't too hard, we made a pivot and actually just went head first into repair. Um, opened up a shop in Chicago and actually used a depot model where we were using a mail-in service actually uh, that generated up to about 5,000 repairs per month. So when we say we have experience, I mean, we truly do. I was one of the people, one of the technicians on the early stages, uh, repairing 40, 50 iPads a day, going through the headaches of having you know, bad parts or having to deal with a bad RMA process. Um, so after years of doing successful repair, we realized that there just wasn't a reliable supplier in the industry. Ourselves and other you know, major repair shops were utilizing China, eBay, Amazon, um, and then we weren't just, we weren't getting the service that we needed. So Revamp decided to make a pivot. What we did was we decided to shut down repair and go headstrong into distribution. Um, we felt that we could make more of an impact in the industry by becoming a better supplier and dealer uh, to everyone. So, you know, fast forward the last four years, four or five years in distribution, we've developed a couple accessory lines, which myself and Ashley will go more into detail. Um, those accessory lines just started with simply screen protectors. Um, and after a few years, we noticed that these repair shops, you know, they were getting customers in the door, they were doing the repair, they were getting the screen protector on, but they were, they were missing out. The, they were having too many touch points with these customers not to offer more. Um, and Revamp wasn't able to offer the name brand accessories that we wanted. So introduced Tesco Technologies last year, um, who we had made an integrated partnership with to be able to provide the top name brand accessories within our channel, within one box, within one order for the customer. Um, you plug in IQ metrics with that on the back end last year and we were able to bring everything in full circle. Um, so I wanna pass it off to Josh, who's gonna be able to go more into detail about the Tesco integration with Revamp and how we're able to take such a large offering of SKUs and really bring it down into something that was manageable for these repair shops to handle. Thanks, David. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Josh Ferguson, and I'm with uh, Tesco Technologies. I'm based out of Baltimore, Maryland, um, and we have a presence over here on the East Coast in Baltimore, as well as over on the West Coast in Reno. Um, and as David alluded to, we are thrilled to be partnered with Revamp. Um, we joined forces last year uh, with Revamp, and I uh, have the privilege of working closely with them to bring the full line of accessories to the market, uh, especially with that, that focus, as they were mentioning, on the repair industry. Um, so we chose Revamp as a partner because of their obviously long history within repairs and their, their strong pedigree there, which they've built over, over a long time. So very pleased with the uh, partnership and look forward to continuing to expand that. So just a quick background on Tesco and, and some of the the main pieces of our business. Um, we work with the industry's best product brands. So um, over 60 to 70 brands in total, just within the retail uh, and mobility space. Um, we'll go into more detail on the next slide about who some of those are, uh, but we look to partner strategically around those top brands that are showing up on the NPD reporting and that are selling through it at uh, retailers around the country already. Um, we have a strong product and sales team for recommending SKUs. Our uh, sales team has, has years and years of, of experience in the industry that um, really allows us to pull together a lot of different knowledge bases and um, knowledge over time to help us to adapt to what's coming next within the industry, which as you know is ever changing. Um, and then we're, we have a team that's focused on finding new and upcoming brands. That's especially important right now uh, because, because of all the changes 
within mobility. Phones are doing more things and in turn that's creating so many different ways to use accessories and to partner accessories up to your phone. So we have a team that is on the forefront of that who's always looking for the next places that we need to play uh, to be able to offer our customers the most relevant products to sell through at the store level. Additionally, we have a uh, supply chain team and a 30 year execution record on supply chain. Uh, as I mentioned, we have presence on the East and the West Coast, allowing us to service the full country within a, um, a short ship time. Um, and we have capabilities uh, built in place over many years and many launches to bring product to the market quickly for all launches. So our speed to market when it comes to Apple launches, Samsung launches, even down to tier two phones is second to none. As I mentioned, um, here are some of the top accessory brands um, within the accessory categories that we're seeing right now, especially within the revamp lineup. So within cases and protection, uh, I'm sure you will recognize some of the big names here. Otterbox and LifeProof um, come without introduction. Gear 4 is a brand that is newer onto the scene. Uh, they work in D3O technology into their cases to keep them extremely slim, but extremely protective at the same time. Um, new to the US and they've been a strong launch over the past year and a half since we, we launched them. And then Spec, of course, is a, another well-known one within the industry. On the screen protection side, of course, you have uh, Simple Snap, the, the revamp house brand, which does very, very well. It's a great product. The um, user experience uh, of having the, the overlay on the phone and the, per the perfect install each time is really a plus with that product. Uh, so very successful there. On the audio side, Skullcandy Urbanista. On the hands-free and Bluetooth side, Night Eyes, uh, mainly for the mounts and their steely line, and then Jobber for headsets. And then on the power side, Ventive has a very robust power offering, everything from car, home, cables, uh, to now a, a, a very advanced and, and robust wireless charging offer. Um, and then these next two slides that, that we're going in here just kind of show the entire lineup right now that is available through Revamp and through their partnership with us. Um, so as you can see, it's, it's fully encompassing of, of everything that could be needed for a repair store who is looking to carry some of the best product in the industry. Awesome. Thank you all. Thanks, Josh. Um, so as you guys kind of heard, you know, we, we wanted to partner with an accessory partner who had been in the industry for a long time um, and, and, and really knew the industry and, and, and Tesco does that. So um, Josh, thanks for hitting all of those points and they really help us, you know, offer the proper accessories into the repair world. So we appreciate that. Um, I'll kick it back to the revamp side of things and really focus this portion on repair. Um, to start, what we typically see in the repair industry is organizations are missing out on one of the three points of profit. This is something I speak about daily. Um, within those three points of profit, you're gonna have accessories, repair, and LCD buyback. And if somebody is missing that piece of profit, either they're missing it entirely like LCD buyback, which I'll get into more detail in, or they're just not capturing enough of it. So the rest of the presentation will really focus in on those pieces of profit. Um, also tune in, I think Channing will be putting the questions in the bottom half um, for you guys to submit. So if you could participate in that, we would appreciate your feedback. So the, the first point of profit into your one-stop shop is gonna be that repair. Um, again, we have 11 years of industry knowledge and repair experience, um, on, on the part side. So what we have at revamp, what do we carry? Um, a majority of you are going to see that, you know, 70 to 80% of your repair is going to be iPhone, but we wanted to carry all of the models, not just hero models. So you can continue to expand your business. So, um, we also have iPod, we have Samsung, we have LG. Um, there's a lot to pick from under the hood. 
But when you get into the Hero model, like the iPhone and the Samsung, we do carry a big array of products. So we've got the batteries, we've got the charging ports, we've got the ear speakers, really everything to make that repair complete. Um, we do have a lifetime warranty in all parts. That makes it very, very easy with your RMA process as well. So you're not having to log when it was purchased and when you need to return it by. Um, it is a lifetime warranty. So that is very, very useful in our industry. Um, we also offer pre-owned devices. Um, this is important if a consumer comes into your shop and your tech opens up the phone and they basically have determined, you know, this phone is unrepairable. We, we can't do anything with it. Um, you, you can offer them something in return, um, whether it's a phone, a tablet, or a laptop. Um, so that's been very, very useful. We integrated that about a year and a half now, right? Yep. Yeah, so that's been live for about a year and a half, and shops have been really happy to have access to that. Um, we also have a quick RMA process, so along with the lifetime warranty, when you're actually filing the RMA, it's going to be very easy. So you would log in just like you would place an order, and about 45 seconds, you've filed that RMA. Um, the ordering and shipping process. The repair industry is much different than other industries in the sense of, of needing access to things almost immediately. Um, we're very, very competitive with our shipping programs and also our shipping times. Um, JIT is, is what everyone speaks about in our, our industry. Um, if you place an order with us today um, by 9 p.m., it will ship out today and arrive to you tomorrow via overnight. Um, we also have very nice free shipping deals. So as long as you spend $800 with us, it will ship again for free via overnight. This is very, very important in the industry, especially if you're looking to do like a Samsung repair. The part itself is not cheap. Um, so what a lot of repair shops will do is maybe that's a skew that they're not keeping on hand and they're overnighting in for the repair to do that next morning before the consumer comes to pick it up. Um, the last piece of repair, which is, is very important, is, is repeat business. And this can happen in multiple ways. Um, you could have a mom come in to get her device repaired and then her husband's device may break a month later or her kids or her friends. Um, so that's one element of repeat business. But the second is the amount of times that consumer actually touches your shop. So when they come in with a broken device, they have to hand it over to you. You have to do the repair and then they return to pick up that repaired device. So that means that they are touching your shop twice, which with online presence these days, we can all say really kind of matters a lot. You, you want consumers in your door as much as you can. So repair ultimately helps you continue to gain traction and just have repeat business. Yeah, and obviously in addition with that repeat business, we want to add additional ticket items. So as we had said, Revamp had just had the screen protectors and some of the basic accessories. With the partnership through Tesco, we were able to bring in all the top name brand accessories that your customers will definitely want to purchase and enough of array where they will walk out with at least one or two accessories. Um, as Josh mentioned, we brought it down to about 15 brands. Um, it took about probably two and a half, three months for Revamp and Tesco to work through originally maybe three to 4,000 SKUs and identify 400 SKUs that would actually work for this industry. This really isn't just about us bringing in everything under the sun. This is about us really analyzing our shops, talking to our customers and understanding their customers and what they're looking for. Um, not just in addition to the SKUs that we offer, we also wanna provide support to your stores through marketing materials via Revamp, via Tesco, and via the brand manufacturers themselves. So we can provide things for free, such as posters, POP displays, custom in-store videos, We've even worked with some of the brands to actually design planograms for stores. Um, on top of that, we can also do custom learn and earn webinars. So similar to this, we could provide a webinar just for your store and its associates to learn about either an array of accessory lines or specifically one brand where we would bring the manufacturer rep in where they'd be able to teach you tips and tricks on how to better sell their products and why they're so successful in this industry. Um, and at the same time, your associates and yourselves would be able to receive free products from those brands so that you could actually use them, enjoy them, treat them like you would be a consumer so that it's much easier for you to sell them. And the last piece, which is my favorite piece and possibly the one that, you know, may not be understood as much is going to be LCD buyback. Um, 
So what LC buyback is, um, I'm not sure what, how long everyone's kind of been in the repair side of things, but um, consumer will come into your shop um, for a repair and your tech will remove, extract that cracked glass. 80% um, of repairs, 70% are typically cracked glass. Um, when they extract that, there, there typically is value um, if that LCD itself is working. So once your tech removes it, um, he'll obviously repair it and put a new screen on, um, but you need to collect those cracked screens because as long as that LCD is working and it's OEM, Revamp does buy it back. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of value. Um, depending on your, depending on your velocity in store, you know, we've got some guys that are sending it in weekly and then we've got other shops that are sending it in monthly. Um, but it does depreciate over time, so we recommend that you are processing those LCD buybacks, um, you know, within the month. Um, you don't want to sit on them. I've talked to shops that have had them for a year. Lost hundreds. I mean, we've had customers that have yeah. lost hundreds of thousands of dollars just on waiting. Especially when a device is newly launched, that's when you're going to see the value kind of changing week to week. So make sure you're getting those processed. Um, overall, it's going to reduce your part, your part cost by over 25%. So while you're saving the environment and the planet, because we don't just want LCD screens like going all over our planet, you're also, you're, you're getting paid. Um, you're gaining profit to your business. Um, so it's, it's a very important piece. And to be honest, I would say throughout the three points of profit, the LCD buyback tends to be the one that is overlooked. Um, not people not even participating in it. So um, do pay attention to it. If you guys have any questions, after this presentation, feel free to reach out to me. This is just a quick little video that just shows the process for LCD buyback so you can see how you would just go through the website. Um, essentially, we're trying to treat it like a step one, two, three process where you would log on to our website, create your order, that's what this person's doing here. Once you do that, Revamp will email you a free shipping label and you'll mail it out to us. Takes about maybe one to three days once we receive it and then we offer uh, payment in the form of credit onto your account on Revamp or you can actually get cash through PayPal um, if you would like. Here's just a little snippet of some of the LCD buyback pricing. So when Ashley was saying you're throwing away profit, she wasn't lying. I mean, if you take a look at the iPhone 7 Plus Line, you can see that a fully functional OEM LCD screen with just a cracked glass, which is you know about 70% of the repairs, is going to fetch you about $42. Um, you can see that you know galaxies are going to be $50 to $60. Even if there is damage on them, we still recommend you send them in because there still could be salvageable value. Even if you don't have an LCD that turns on, there could be something usable in it that could fetch anywhere from five to twelve dollars so again you're getting paid to do this there's no upfront work for you you might as well take advantage and reduce your part costs and get paid and i mean if you just want to like look in on like the iphone 7 plus if it is fully functional that's 42 dollars um so again it's there's decent money in the program um so please make sure not to miss out on that Okay, so segue into Simple Snap. David and Josh both kind of talked about it a little earlier in the slides. Um, we've developed this line really to assist in repair growth. Um, what we kind of also saw in the industry is even repair shops who are tech savvy, um, micro soldering or removing parts that you can't see with your human eye. Um, they couldn't apply a screen protector. And it just really logically didn't make sense to us. Um, you can do these snazzy repairs, but you, you can't install a screen protector. So Simple Snap was born about four and a half years ago um, with the easy to install mold. It makes it flawless. It helped with the iPhone 5 series, but now even more um, with the Samsungs. Um, now with the iPhones with no home buttons, it's very hard to kind of align that screen protector properly. Um, so the patented mold really creates that experience with the consumer and it also plays a big role in our three points of profit on each element. 
So here's a quick overview on all the different lines we have in the Simple Snap family. Um, we've got the tempered glass, we've got the privacy, the edge to edge. And then the last two are the two that really hit home when it comes to repair. Um, you've got the Simple Snap plus device insurance tempered glass, and then you've also got the liquid line. Um, so what this means for you is it's an upsell after you've completed a repair. Um, and then a repeat business, once the consumer actually cracks their device with the Simple Snap on it, they would return to you as a service agent to get that repaired. Um, and then you have the opportunity to upsell them again. Um, so it really kind of creates that full encompass of repair and just helps you be more of a service agent as well. So to talk in more depth on the Simple Snap plus device insurance line, um, the tempered glass we really only offer with the 150 of device insurance. And then with the liquid, which is a brand new SKU, um, we've got the 150 and we have the 400. Um, these are nice because you only have to carry one SKU if fits all devices. So you're not carrying multiple SKUs and increasing your inventory. Uh, what we've seen compared to our competition is that our claims process is very easy um, compared to the others on the market. And then the stores also paid up front. So once a consumer comes into your shop and gets the repair, they swipe their credit card and make the payment. And then once they file the claim in our system, Simple Snap would then send them a check. So it's pretty like flawless and easy on the repair shop side. I would say the hardest part is just reminding them to register their warranty <laughs> <laughs> within the 14 days. Um, but Simple Snap really will help your repair shops encompass all three points of profit. Yeah, and one good thing to add, Ashley said, once you become a service agent, you're actually a service agent for any Simple Snap plus device insurance repair. So your store and information would actually go on our website uh, under the store locator for the customers who are looking for repair shops. So just by offering this, you could be bringing in additional repairs that you didn't even sell the original screen protector to. So again, you're hitting that three points of profit. We're, we're trying to generate more customers into your store, more touch points for you to either upsell, repair, and get that LCD buyback as well. Um, just wanted to, again, recap those shipping deals and cutoff times. We really feel like in the age of Amazon and people feeling like they need everything next day, um, that is an e-commerce platform and a distributor, we have to stay up with current trends. Um, Revamp is really proud to offer 99% of our orders with some form of free shipping. Um, free ground is only $250, and we actually have the lowest overnight minimum in the industry, which is just $800. So as you guys can see, not just with parts, but when you're bundling parts, accessories, even pre-owned devices, it's very easy to hit that minimum and have the ability to order as late as 9 p.m. Uh, we also ship six days a week for your convenience um, and offer uh, different shipping options if you prefer. Awesome. Um, we wanted to thank everybody for attending today. Um, I think the recap here is, you know, once you integrate with RQ, um, you will have access to all three points of profit. And that, that is very important. So on the accessory side, you're getting the partnership between Tesco and Revamp. On the repair side, you've got Revamp. Um, and then on the LCD buyback, you've got Revamp all in one under the hood of RQ. So um, we appreciate your time. We wanted to offer a promotion today. Um, so for you guys' first order with us, you'll get $25 off. And then you'll also get a free promotional gift. So we look forward to working with you and we're here for any questions um, and, you know, feel free to contact us if there's any way we can help um, either launch repair at your organization or help you guys grow. Thank you, everyone.